Hello everyone, you're watching Jeanne FX and as usual in this video I'll share with you results of trading this week and also technical overview for gold this coming week. And I'm sharing with you results through FX Blue independent site where you can see guys this week my profit uh, was $48,000 and I was sending my screenshots with the pending orders to Telegram channel which is Jeanne FX. As you can see right now I'm showing you on the screen. I didn't have that many trades this week but every single trade closed out with profit and we had nothing in recovery and uh, the address of my telegram channel is Jana FX as you can see guys you can find all the links in the description under this video and this is the only official channel I have on telegram any other channels have nothing to do with me uh, and um, now let's uh, have a look at um, the um, gold see what happened and what uh, i would be expecting once again guys if you are following my uh, strategy and uh, my orders then remember you can um, take or you have to take all the risks um, on yourself at your own risk you're going to trade use the lot size the minimum so you calculate okay use money management risk management i only share with you my trades even though i was trying this week to send the um, more safer trades uh, the um, orders i thought they were like safer because of course i had a little bit more trades uh, i was taking um, riskier ones but i didn't want to share those ones and i was only sharing the ones which i thought would be a bit more profitable even in telegram channel you would see that i have been uh, making the notes that it could be fake outs which means right now you know the market is unpredictable it, it makes uh, big moves then it might go into a bit of consolidation it can have pins in and in out which which are fake outs which can break out from the consolidation areas you know jump out jump in and then you can get uh, if you follow it uh, in, into recoveries even feel like this week the all the, the screenshots I sent all the trades were perfect I mean all the setups were absolutely perfect there were no uh, fake outs but you have to be careful because like I'm saying it is summer season and uh, one of the worst times to trade uh, but gold right now is quite volatile and creates good moves which is good uh, and i'm expecting if i will get catch any losses then hopefully the recovery will be finished uh, quite fast but you never know because like i'm saying again it's summertime and anything can happen uh, many people are going on holidays so it could be quiet days and also could be uh, strong moves and fake out so that's why guys be really careful and use please risk management and money management okay i'm using the lot size for the size of my account so i've calculated my risk so you have to do the same if you following because i only share with you what i do guys okay so and uh, let's have a look what happened this week and what to expect as you know guys once again it doesn't really matter for my strategy where we're going as long as market moving uh, uh big uh, makes big moves like uh, over 100 pips um per move that's quite perfect if uh, something goes wrong with the trade okay but if no fake outs then of course i only need few like forever 10 20 30 pips movement um and i use my EAs, you know i'm placing the orders and the ea take over of the trade so that's how i do and uh, i place the orders mostly both directions right trying to catch uh, both uh, ways and um uh, but we need to see the main picture just to see what's happening on the market right um, and um, like i'm saying for example for me i do top up i don't uh, usually send those trades when i'm top up like i'm you i only send you like the main setup for example and but if i see the market moves one or another direction then i add some trades but i count them as a bit riskier that the market might continue can reverse and that's why i don't send those types of trades um which maybe i should really do but like i'm saying it's a little bit more risky because if i'm counting on that for example uh, from here the market can go uh, to touch one of my levels as you can see like it happened this week just as i expected the where i draw the level that's exactly where the market went um then i'm expecting and i'm adding a bit more trades uh, and um 
but you know it can go up and turn around and could have a sharp turn around and i have like the stop loss is like what 90 pips but like i'm saying i know that my account is big enough to hold it and recover it but i can't be sure what your accounts have okay and that's why i'm saying you are responsible for the making decisions okay if you are not agree then please don't follow and please switch off the uh, channel turn turn the channel so we will see this week maybe i will add uh, a bit more trades we'll share with you add on trades but you know they're usually instant that's why i can't i, I have sent before instant trades but um it's like if um, for example you place also use the and you also place the painting orders you might walk away from the screen like i do i walk away but when the market started to move i, I add on but it's instant so it's like i buy instantly it's like uh, on my uh yes i press buy and i press buy and i press buy except yes there is a setting there which can do it automatically but unfortunately there is no setting there when to say stop like for example if it moves 100 pips and say okay stop uh, continue adding those trades right that's why yes yeah, sometimes i switch it on and just switch off in time when i see it reaches the level where of course i can put or you can put an alarm on to say if it reaches there then you can just stop it uh adding on but um quite often when i'm watching it and i see it closes with profit like moves the stop loss in profitable position and i then i just instantly like buy press again it, it closes i press again buy and it just does continue itself and then i just stop for example right and the same the other way around um that's how i usually ad adapt my trade so i'm just sharing with you if you are doing the same then you can do it yourself okay just um, continue the same way without me like pressing the instant um sending instant signals for example okay um that's why i just prefer to to share the pending orders because it's easier pending orders usually the movement can happen like in the next few minutes or maybe hours okay so um this is where what we have uh, this week you see previous week remember we had a big drop and uh, from there i was uh, referring to previous weeks to look what was happening previously right we had like very much of the like a movement of the one of the weeks with the oldest going up and then down and we had similar right here similar and here similar but the this movement didn't continue uh the way uh this this one right so we had a correction like we had previously of that movement where this something similar happened and then it was huge drop compared to that previous smaller drop and uh but now so this week we had uh this movements where i was expecting from my previous uh, analysis remember and i draw the level here saying that could possibly uh similar to this part okay creating the same but the other way around which means we might have here a diamond pattern and you know diamond pattern is a reverse pattern but um it's just if it's going to create something like this and again we can look at that area similarity of um uh, here right of those corrections to see where we will have another possible uh, leg up right or actually will continue the way down it's quite tricky area here and uh, basically with the all the uh, economical situation in america and uh, after non-farm and fomc again that the interest rates are not going to change possibly until uh september and we've seen that euro pound like dollar pound uh, pound dollar they all dropped against dollar right so dollar got a bit stronger this week but nothing like this happened to gold basically gold should have really also continued drop but no we can see it started to create um similar movements as the previous uh weeks and um this also could be because of geopolitical situation basically more escalating in the war because it looks like lebanon uh something might to do with israel right and of course any news from there escalating of war uh basically might make jump gold might jump so that's why it's really hard at this moment to look something like a long-term trading like to go for uh longs expecting gold actually reaching to 500 was like everybody's waiting for or he had enough and might actually drop down to 22 
50 and even further down, right? So he is quite basically um, in the middle of nowhere and nobody knows where it's going to go. Uh, so that's why I have so many levels around here, these uh, 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 lines, as you can see, but they all have sense. They all make sense when the market started to move around them, as you can see, like this week, exactly is around the my levels. It's, it's been moving. And um, of course, this week I'm expecting possible, again, walking around this area. And if we would see the previous weeks, like here, huge jump right and here was jump but not as huge then here we might see the same um similarity to those previous movements right so we had again up down uh up and we have here also up down and up right here too up down and up but and and in all of those scenarios is the same the markets the second uh, tops of there they did not reach uh they didn't take the previous top right so we see uh, they all gone lower that means it kind of gives the idea that possibly we will see how the market opens we still might hear something uh, until the market opens you never know the geopolitical situation right uh, and market might possibly go down back to 23 and even go further because it did not take the previous bottom so our previous bottom around 22 85 and we can see that this previous bottom did not take that so I can think that if from here we go down and take that bottom, not going to break further, right? Which I don't think it should yet because I don't think they're going to give up this area that easy. Um, but we do have really 2250 in here because this is a, a channel, right? Look at this, guys. That's the channel which I drew last time and that's a it's a downtrend channel but at the same time it says a bullish flag could end up okay could end up in bullish flag because right now yeah you can say this is a very strong area around two three hundred uh because it's kind of like a neck of the double top but this double top might turn around into the bullish flag yeah we do have this possibility and that's why we still i think we will have a little bit of more movements in this area before the market will actually decide if they want to actually continue going higher much higher or they would want to drop and it's going to end up as double top really i think of course if there will be ceasefire uh with both uh, israel gaza russia ukraine then gold will just drop quite dramatically maybe like to the opening of the hamas gap remember the around 1 800 something but i don't see it just yet you never know can't say but if nothing like this happens yet and we continue with what we are having at this moment then my expectation would be that the gold uh will be trying yet to take that bottom and possibly afterwards create another top right right like it was doing here taking the bottom creating like another top uh, but of course i don't think it's going to be exactly the same scenarios like here we had small drop right and here we had huge drop so that's why in here maybe if we will take the bottom to 300 and go like 220 to uh, 2285 or maybe lower uh, then from here we can reverse and expect i would expect uh actually more movements going up and i think taking the previous top and maybe even going to like trying to go high and break out all the levels to going to trying to go to four to 400 because we also have another uh, channel right another bigger channel so that might go and try to create a triple top you know like a full again okay full again uh, everyone saying oh yeah we are not like going going to 2500 but uh, instead, it might just go and again, we can create here Fibonacci levels and see where we are. Last time it stopped around 23.88. This time it might go. Of course, if it will, it probably will take that and go like maybe next one would be 71 something, which would be around probably 25, uh, 2415. So which is before all of this uh, area consolidation. Right. So that might create us the third top, which would be lower right and then it started to go back down right uh and uh who knows i mean it's anything can happen it could be can happen even in the same week like this week or maybe it could be another few weeks so maybe we have still july uh june july august until the presidential election in america anything just happening around this area going up down up sitting in, inside this big 
generally creating the bullish flag, who knows, anything, right? I would say probably because I would have more uh, towards before the election in the US, a bit more of uh, moving slowly down for gold and then, yeah, creating the bullish flag and then shoot up uh, based on uh, the election, right? Because it's uncertainty, all this uncertainty uh, makes uh, gold stronger, right? And um, But who knows, like I'm saying, who knows? Uh, for this week, I will be looking this area. If, for example, from here, we also might uh, give, it might jump up again a bit to 50 area and then like going as a correction of this movement, which right now it stopped at uh, 2340, which is 50 Fibonacci level. We still have 61, which is around 2350. And from there, it might start to go back down. And that's where I'm going to see again uh, if it's going to break to 300 and try to take the low and then turn around, right? And then I would be uh, more towards that it will go higher, okay? And we'll go back to 2360 and would, would try to go even higher. Uh, and if it's not going to break, uh, like go down to 2300 again and will not break it, then I would be more towards that it probably will be trying to go back to maybe 2360 or uh low or something but will not um break it like create us a bearish flag and then uh drop possibly to maybe 20 to 50 right go much further to take the lows and go in further that's how i see it okay that's kind of i see it because you know gold likes to take tops and bottoms and um usually if it didn't take top or bottom it will try to um like fool everyone, go high or low, and then return and uh, eventually uh, create a new high or new low. And um, But here I don't see, um, there is no fuel for gold at this moment to go higher, like much higher back to 2500. At this moment, I don't see it unless there is escalation in war, okay? That's why my expectation with gold would be uh, a possible uh, not breaking too 2415 uh, I would say is the highest would be for me and around 202250 uh, uh, maybe even 2277 maybe it will not be even um, ready to go but if it will be breaking out you know because a lot of people would be thinking like they want to fool us the big guys right they would be say oh look it's that's it it's breaking the neck area it's breaking the neck area but it might go to 2250 because it's the the channel here right like this you see which we of course can adjust we can put it high a little bit lower it's all uh, uh, very uh, adjustable but roughly my area is 2250 maybe slightly higher uh, and then sharp reverse back in in the same area you see guys i don't exclude that possibility of a lot of fake outs so you need to be like really careful but unless there is a few like i'm saying i think geopolitical is going to be very important of course uh, any news positive or negative that's when we're going to see a huge jump or huge drop okay but before then looking at playing around all of this uh, where you see a lot of levels in here i think we are going to play around them until uh, there is definitely something will come out because at this moment the economical situation the all about uh, speculation about rate cuts it's all included in in there that's it i don't think anything i mean of course during the news events there will be jumps which would be great we will be um i will be of course placing my orders catching some uh, trades but be careful because you see guys again this week i did not have many trades through the events the news events because uh the one of the event i the the i had like a gap and uh, the price slipped so that's why it's kind of bit uh could be tricky because like before really good uh trades were during the news events but now summertime and there will be those gaps and uh, the price might slip. That's why during the news event, you might be a bit more careful. If you want to go for trades, like then please use the lowest, lowest lot size. Yeah, because I do expect that until September, 
uh, we will have um, these um, gaps and slippage, you know, sleep when the price slips. Um, and uh, you need to keep a knife using also EA. Uh, you, you place the order and it might not trigger or the price might jump uh, quite away from the trade where it would be already profit. It might sharply turn around, you know, and, and create uh, the loss. But like I'm saying, the recovery system, of course, will recover it. Uh, but like I'm saying, again, it could be few few attempts, few recovery attempts. But of course, you can place, there is a possibility there in the EA where you can lock the, uh, the size of the lot size where the lot size will not go in a grow uh, high, right? So it could be like a maximum and then that's it. And then uh, it's just not going to create, but it will be trying to get out from the loss. Um, and it would be harder, of course, to get out from it if the lot size ain't going to grow. Uh, that's why you would need to keep an eye on it and maybe just decide at some point you would want to just manually close it and finish it. Even though there will be little loss. So that's just a bit of the warning for you guys and the insights of what can happen. So be careful, like I'm saying again, summer months, the worst, the worst time to trade. Um, so... Uh, you've been warned okay <laughs> so that's it for now that's what i wanted to share with you guys happy trading everyone and uh, i'll talk to you next